what's up guys this is sunny back with another video today real quick i want to show you guys how to create a mac os catalina 10.15.4 bootable usb drive using open core 0.5.8 yes the latest and the greatest and this bootloader was just released i believe eight hours ago so let's not waste any more time and let's just jump in and show you guys now i also made a guide for um Intel 300 series chipset. So the video link will be in the video description. Don't forget to check out. So you guys can see I have uh, open core 0.5.8 AMD Ryzen folder. So let's just open this folder and drag everything to the desktop. All right, and we can close this folder. And now we need to format our USB drive. So I have a USB pen drive, uh, 16 gig. If you have an eight gig, should be more than enough. And if you have a USB 3.0 drive, your process will be a lot faster. So let's go to um, search bar right here. Type here CMD and open command pump. Right click, run as admin, yes. Okay, type here disk part, list disk. Now you guys can see uh, I have a bunch of disks right here. Just ignore no media ones. Uh, you guys can see here disk two, uh, 14 gig. So that's my uh, USB drive. Make sure you format the right USB drive. And also if you have any data, make sure you back up before you format. Now let's uh, select disk two. So select disk two, enter. Now let's type here clean enter now let's create partition create partition primary all right and now let's format so format fs equal fat 32 should be fine quick yep now let's close this and open gib mac os right here uh gib mac os dash master all right and let's open gib mac os dot bat so right click run as admin yes okay as you guys can see we need to uh download and install python and also add create path okay we need to add path so type here y for yes enter so basically right now uh give mac os downloading the python and also adding the path All right, so now we need to download just the recovery part of the Mac OS Catalina 10.15.4. So we'll type here R for recovery, enter. Now we need to find here Mac OS Catalina 10.15.4 uh, full install, okay? So we can type here number seven just for the recovery, number seven enter so right now basically give mac os uh downloading the recovery part of the mac os catalina 10.15.4 you do need internet connection for this and you also do need internet connection for the installation process All right, we are done with the download. So press enter and you can close Gib Mac OS. Okay, now we can open make install that bad. Right click, run as admin, yes. Now you guys can see we have problem here. Couldn't locate uh, DDR release 64.exe, okay? 
So press enter and close this. We need to fix this issue. Now you guys can see I have DDR release uh, 64.exe here. Inside the git macOS dash master folder, you'll find a script folder. You need to open this and drag and drop this DDR release 64.exe with our script folder. All right, go back, uh, right click on make install.bat, run as admin, and your problem should be solved. All right. So now we need to pick our USB drive and the bootloader we are going to install, right? So make sure you pick the right drive. So you guys can see here number two, that's my USB drive right here, Kingston Data Traveler 3.0. So I will pick number two. So I'll type here number two and then O for open core. So O, make sure O, not zero, O. So I have here two, O. Enter, Y for yes, enter. All right, so now we need to copy the path from the git macOS folder. You will find uh, another new folder, macOS downloads. So we'll just go to this folder, public release, and you guys can see our recovery part of the uh, macOS Catalina is here. We can just click on it, go to home, copy path, come back to make install uh, windows, and then right click, enter. Now this process right here will take at least 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll be back after this process is done. All right, so we are done installing the OpenCore bootloader to our USB drive. And so now what we can do, basically close everything here and we can go to this PC and open our USB drive here, boot, boot, and then go to EFI OC. All right, now we can go to our ACPI folder. Okay, you guys can see we don't have nothing, it's okay. Don't worry about bootstrap uh, drivers, we only need from here open runtime so we can delete everything else. So let's delete everything else here. and then go to kicks so we don't have nothing in the kicks folder uh, tools we can delete everything here all right so now i have everything pre-configured here okay uh, acpi uh, drivers everything uh, the config playlist is pre-configured i already uh, added the uh, patch so the kernel patch is already done so we can just um, drag and drop this config playlist to our uh, USB uh, EFI OC folder and then open our ACPI folder uh, and copy this uh, SSDT to our uh, USB drive ACPI folder. All right, now we can close this ACPI folder and then go to uh, drivers open our drivers folder and then copy APFS driver loader and BVOX HFS. All right, uh, Kex. So we can open the Kex folder here. Now, remember if your motherboard have a real tag LAN, then you will need real tag uh, RTL 8111 Now. The motherboard I have Astrock uh, X570 Phantom Gaming 4 uh, have uh, Intel LAN chip, so I'll go with small tree Intel kicks. So I'll just copy all this, just drag and drop. All right, and let's see what else we need. Uh, tools we don't have to do anything. All right, now we'll just take a quick OC snapshot. So with uh, proper tree. We'll open our config playlist. So open uh, property.bat, file open, and then go to our uh, USB boot drive, 
uh, EFI OC folder and then open our config playlist all right now go to file OC snapshot and then go to our USB drive boot EFI OC folder select folder we're done with the OC snapshot now let me minimize everything we don't really have to do anything else here so platform info uh, we have uh, a system product name uh, iMac Pro 1.1 works perfect with our Ryzen build uh, if you go to NVRM uh, you guys can see here I don't have the verbose mode here so if you want verbose mode you can just uh, type here minus V I don't need it now if you're planning on using uh, Navi based graphics card then you do need this uh, AGD PM uh, OD uh, pick era uh, this uh, boot arc if you don't have a Navi based graphics card you can just delete because currently I'm using RX 570 so I can just delete this save it all right and we should be all set so let's just save make sure you save okay and now we can close this and that's it guys we are done uh, creating the Mac OS Catalina 10.15.4 bootable USB drive for our AMD Ryzen uh, build uh, yes we are using open core a uh, 0.5.8 bootloader now if you do like this video guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to uh, subscribe and stay tuned see you guys next one